Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, this is going to be pretty much a step-by-step -step guide on how to add shaders to Minecraft for pretty much any version. Older versions will work, the current version will work, and also newer versions should work unless, of course, the installation process changes drastically from what I'm about to show you. That's right, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to add shaders to Minecraft. This should work for pretty much any version, like I said. Now, of course, before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos like this one, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button, hit the bell notification right next to it. If you actually want to get notifications, please do, because that's really cool. And one other thing, of course, if you want to support the channel and have a cool Minecraft server, then be sure to head over to the link down below in the description to Apex Minecraft hosting. If you do get a server with Apex hosting, you'll indirectly support my channel as well. So let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna explain to you step by step everything you need to know to actually be able to add shaders to Minecraft. For this video, I'm gonna be using a low-end shader pack to make sure most of you guys can actually run this one as well because with my other tutorials, I use BSL shaders because they look good, but then some people actually said that they weren't able to run it after they actually did successfully install Optifine. Now, usually it is pretty easy to install shaders and add shaders to Minecraft, but sometimes things go wrong. And so in that case, I will actually walk you through step-by-step -step what to do to actually fix the errors, but do make sure to watch the entire video because some people actually go into the comment sections let me know that they can't actually install something like Java or something like that, but they don't actually watch the entire video because I usually do explain how to add or fix stuff like Java. So without any further ado, the first thing you need to do is launch Minecraft. Now this might sound stupid, but you actually need to launch Minecraft just once before you can go and install Optifine. So what you do is actually open up the Minecraft launcher. It's pretty simple. You just open up a profile with the release that you're gonna use shaders with. So if you're just gonna go with the current release, which is perfect, then you just keep it on current release, that profile is fine. If it's not there, or if you actually do want to use an older version, you're gonna go over to installations right here, click new, I'm gonna name this one just Daniel for the sake of it, and then come over to versions right here, scroll all the way down to, for example, something old like, I don't know, 1.12 maybe, because there's a lot of mods for 1.12, I believe. So you just click release 1.12.2 right here, then you click create in the bottom right corner, and then you will now have a profile with 1.12.2. Now what you need to do is click play on this profile to make sure it's actually downloaded and installed to your PC. For this one, I'm gonna be using the current latest release, but even if new versions are released, this tutorial should still work just fine. So the latest release as of now is 1.16.5, so you just click play on 1.16.5, and this should download and install 1.16.5. So it's pretty simple. Once you've made it over to the main menu, you just click quit game or just close it this way. Now what we can do is actually download and install Optifine. So what you can do is either look it up yourself using your browser, or you can use the link down below in the description to Optifine directly. So I'm gonna show you manually how to do it, just go over to your browser, type in Optifine, and go to the one that says Optifine.net right here. Once you're on this page, you go over to Downloads right here, and then you just look for the latest versions. Usually, you can click Show All Versions to actually download older versions as well. For this one, we're gonna be using the most recent one, which is usually over here. Sometimes it's under the preview versions. Say 1.17 is released, then Optifine is first, of course, going to have pre-releases for 1.17 Optifine, and then Usually they're listed under preview versions right here. Now 1.16.5 has been around for quite a while as of recording this, so there is a full version for 1.16.5. There's two options here. You can click this download button or the mirror button. The mirror button will actually give you a much more direct download, whereas the download button will actually support the creator. So I'm gonna click the download button, but feel free to choose either one of those. You just have to wait five seconds here and then a skip button will appear in the top right corner right here. You just click that open up a new tab because this one is gonna redirect you to a bunch of ads. You click download, then you close this tab real quick. As you can see, the download started. Don't close the tab before the download started or the download won't start at all. So if you're in Google Chrome, you'll get this warning with .jar files, which are Java files, that they might harm your PC. I know, and I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys, should you accept this? I keep telling you guys in my videos, if you do follow my links, you are able to click keep on this file and it should be completely safe. I know it's kind of suspicious. I don't know why Chrome does that. Probably because .jar files might be something like viruses in some other instances, 
but over here it's completely safe if it's got a name similar to this Optifine underscore and then the version of Optifine that you're downloading. Optifine does never come in an exe file so if you found a different installer somewhere on the internet then really do not open that file so by pressing ctrl j we can come over to the downloads right here and as you can see it has this java icon right here which is perfect because that's what you need but for some people it actually shows up as an empty file a winrar file or just an empty text file or something like that so what you need to do in that case because in that case you cannot actually open it is first of all you can do show in folder and then right click it open with and find java tm platform se binary or something similar this will actually open it with java and that means you already have java installed now if you can't find that there's one solution that's easy you just google jarfix and this is a small little program that you execute and then it will actually tell your computer to open jar files with java so come over to this website it's also linked down below in the description so what you do is click the jarfix.exe link right here this will download a jarfix program you just click it you'll get a uac prompt which you just have to answer with a yes and then you'll get this either this or you get the message that you need to install java and there will be a link in here that won't work it never really works and i get a lot of comments about that and i should probably actually point out that that link doesn't work although it's almost complete they forgot to add a little bit to the end there so if you get this message you're set you have java and you can now install optifine if you don't then you're going to use the second link down below in the description to download java and install that first so that link will actually take you to this page where there's a huge red download button agree and start free download you just click that i'm not going to do it because i already have java installed as you just saw earlier but if you do this this is completely safe if you use the links down below in the description of course you just download this you open it, it will pop up somewhere in the bottom left corner right there. You open it, you install it to any drive or any folder you want really, but the default one is probably the easiest. And then after that, you should have Java on your system. And now you can proceed to installing Optifine. What you might need to do is actually right click this file once again and do open with, and then Java should appear here. Whereas if you didn't have it before, it will not appear here. So now you can click Java platform SE binary and it should open so i'm gonna just double click it right here and it is going to show me the optifine installer now you need optifine to actually be able to load shaders into minecraft if you didn't know that already it's actually pretty simple just follow my steps and it should work just click install right here because this folder should have been selected by default and after a few seconds it might freeze but after a few seconds you should get this message that says optifine is successfully installed which is great. Just click OK. The installer will actually close. And now we can close this. And now we're going to download the shaders. So the shader pack that I'm going to use for this video is Chocopic, the toaster edition. It's not the prettiest, but it will run really well on pretty much any system from low end to high end. So that's why I selected that one, because that means that if you were actually able to successfully complete this tutorial, you'll also be able to use the shaders for actual gameplay. So if you follow the link down below in the description, you will see this page to Chocopic High Performance Shaders. And if you scroll down to recent files right here and then select the ones with the latest version selected right here, which is currently 1.16, but it will be 1.17 in the future. If you're looking for older files, they might be somewhere in here under files. But the important bit is that you actually select the right one right here actually it's not very important because they'll both work they're both low end shaders but for this one you want to get the one with the r because that is the toaster edition whereas the one with the b is actually the low performance edition which ironically has better quality and therefore slower performance than the toaster edition so you're going to click the toaster edition with the download icon right here you'll have to wait five seconds right here and then the download will automatically start. As you can see, there it is. That is the zip file. And now the mistake many people make is actually clicking this and then trying to unpack it and put this into the shaders folder. Don't do it. Just don't do that because that is not the way shaders actually work in Minecraft. All you gotta do now is just close your browser, go into Minecraft by launching Minecraft and selecting the Optifine profile right here. What you can also do is come over to installations right here where it will be much easier to actually find the Optifine profile. You're going to click play. But if with this video, it's actually the first time you install it, you'll get a little warning that says, do you 
acknowledge the risks of playing Optifine, which is something they implemented recently. You just got to click, I understand the risks because there aren't really any risks unless you follow different links that I didn't tell you about. If you did use my links, then it's totally fine and you can just check the little box and click play or something like I agree. So here we are, Minecraft 1.16.5 or any other version for that matter. It doesn't really matter. It can be 1.17, 1.18. It can also be 1.13, even 1.8, I believe, will work. So to check whether you actually have Optifine installed, you can go to Options, Video Settings, and then in the bottom left corner, it will say Optifine something something. That means you now have Optifine, and that means you will have a shaders option right here. What you can do is actually come over to the shaders menu right here and click Shaders Folder. And what I will do now is actually open up my Downloads folder in a new window. You can do this whichever way you like and then just dragging the entire zip file over to the shader packs folder just by holding it and dragging it over to the shader packs folder right here and now if you actually you can close all of these windows but you don't even have to if you don't want to you can just come back into minecraft and as you can see it's already there if you just click done done and done again because sometimes it doesn't pop up straight away. You go back into video settings shaders. And now it should have loaded the packs that you actually put into the shaders folder. And of course, this can be any other shader as well. So if you do actually want to use BSL shaders, you can download BSL shaders or any other shaders really. Just drag them into this shader packs folder. And then after that, they'll appear in Minecraft. Now all we need to do is actually click the shader pack this will show you the loading screen. It might take a few seconds, but don't worry, it should actually load because this is a very, very low end pack. What I'll do now is click done and done again. And once again, you click done. Now we're at the main menu. You can't see the shaders yet, but what I'm gonna do is actually load up a world. Just go over to single player, create a new world, new world shaders. I'm just going to create this world to show you that they actually work. So. This is actually pretty much it. Just create any world you like or join any server you want. Actually, servers are a little more demanding. So if you actually want to just take a look at the shaders without too much hassle, then be sure to just click a uh, single player and create a single player world. So there we go. Would you look at that beautiful sun glare right there? Beautiful sunrise as well with some sheep, I guess, and a swamp. That is just cool. These shaders perform so incredibly well. They should run on pretty much any system that has some form of a graphics card. They should even work on integrated Intel HD graphics. So really, you should be able to use these shaders. So this has been my in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to add shaders to pretty much any version of Minecraft, either a version that is yet to come and versions that have already been released as well as the current version, which for this video was 1.16.5, but will soon be 1.17 and then probably 1.18 and so on. If you actually did enjoy this video and if it did help you out at installing shaders step-by-step -step for any Minecraft version, then be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up, letting me know down below in the comments, and of course, share this tutorial with anyone that is interested in getting shaders in their Minecraft worlds because it's not that easy and a lot can go wrong. So I hope this tutorial actually covered most of what can go wrong, as well as how to just basically get shaders in Minecraft. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're into Minecraft content like this video, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button, hit the bell notification right next to it. And then, you know what? As always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.